together everybody because we're all stuck in our houses I figured that today I would teach you how to make one of my easiest recipes that I have and it works really really super well for a family or for an individual if you're making it for yourself it lasts a long long time okay so what I'm going to start with here is I'm starting with about three to four cups of uncooked rice so when it's cooked it amounts to something like that I took four green onions and chopped them up all of these things we're just going to throw in the bowl. That's what makes this so super easy. And by the way, if you're ever at loss for some of these ingredients, the good thing about this particular recipe is you can kind of like mix and match. So let's say that you don't have parsley at home. That's not going to really kill the recipe. And if you don't want to do raw green beans like I did here, you could do cucumber or something like that. Just use whatever you have. So we're doing green beans. Um, this amounts to about two and a half cups of green beans. I did one cup of parsley, chopped really super fine. You don't want a huge mouthful of that. I did three whole, um, these are actually red peppers, not green peppers. They just look like this because where I am, they don't really have either or, but these are sweet peppers, bell peppers. Three whole ones of those. Two cups of sliced olives. If you hate olives, yet again, you can leave that out. This is three cups of sweet corn. Two cups of tomatoes. And four cups of your favorite beans. Don't forget if you're doing your beans yourself, meaning not out of a can, meaning dry beans like I did here, then it's really important to not get the bean juice in it because you don't want to dilute the dressing that we're about to do. So combining that all together, that's it. I call this my my summer and salad. Sometimes I do this with quinoa. For those of you that don't want to do it with rice, you can substitute brown rice, which I usually do. Couldn't find any this time. Or quinoa, which is a healthier version of that. Although there are some people that I've met that have some sensitivities to it. If you live in a more tropical location, you can include hearts of palm. That goes so well in here. Wow. It's everybody's favorite. Okay, so that's pretty much combined. Now let's go over to the finish our dressing. Okay, so what I have here for our dressing, this is usually the easiest way to do dressings, by the way, is just in one of these um, blenders you would use for your shakes. What I have here is a third of a cup of uh, red wine vinegar. I did about a tablespoon and a half of salt. I mixed in some cayenne pepper. The thing that I like better, but yet again I couldn't find it today, is um, actually red pepper flakes. So if you use red pepper flakes, use about a teaspoon. If you are okay with heat, maybe half a teaspoon for those of you that have families that don't like it. I used two and a half teaspoons of oregano. Oregano gives this the most wonderful flavor. Three to four cloves of garlic, crushed. I prefer crushed for this, but if you don't have a crusher at home, and you're in a desperate state, you're just gonna chop this as finely as you possibly can. And we've got a half of a cup of your extra virgin olive oil. Nicely done. I poured that right over the side. Nobody said cooking was clean. What you're going to be making here is called an emulsion. The oil mixes with the with the um, liquids, and you get this incredibly beautiful creamy type of a consistency. Okay, bringing this over now that it's nice and blended. Oh yeah, that's strong. Just gonna douse the whole thing a bit. A little bit of this dressing goes a whole lot of So if you're worried about that not coating everything, probably don't. It's a really strong flavor. And again, 
once you have this like this, you can fiddle with the taste. So if you want to add black pepper, I don't like it personally, but if you want to add black pepper, you can do that. If you're the kind of person who loves cilantro, you can even add cilantro. Um, if you want to salt it, some of us like more salt than others, then you can go ahead and do that at this phase. That's literally it. That's how simple that recipe is. Mostly just finding something in your house or committing the time to chopping all of those things that are going inside this beautiful, vibrant salad. Look at that. Isn't that a super vibe uplift? My favorite thing to do is to serve this with watermelon, if any of you have access to that this time of year. Most of the world is in winter. Maybe not most. Half the world is in winter. So if you can't find that, then you're going to have to do something else. But for those of you that can find watermelon, it's great for this. Thank you, guys.